Hey there everyone, join us in this video where we uncover the motivations behind Oscar De La Hoya's pursuit of Jake Paul. Stay tuned as we expose the undisclosed facts. Oscar De La Hoya, known for his legendary status in the boxing world, has finally reached his breaking point and unleashed a fierce attack on Jake Paul, a confrontation that took everyone by surprise. Jake, who has been notorious for his relentless trash-talking and humiliating remarks aimed at various fighters, found himself in the crosshairs when someone dared to ask him about Oscar. In typical Jake fashion, he responded with a barrage of brash comments, seemingly believing he could escape the situation unscathed. However, he underestimated De La Hoya, a figure who is not one to let provocations slide easily. The way Oscar retaliated was nothing short of astonishing, revealing shocking truths about Jake that sent ripples through the boxing community. De La Hoya is not just any fighter, he is a celebrated champion who has claimed world titles across six different weight classes and has transitioned into a successful promoter and mentor for rising stars like Ryan Garcia. His extensive experience and deep understanding of the sport make him a formidable opponent, both in and out of the ring. On the other hand, Jake Paul represents a new breed of boxer, having burst onto the scene from YouTube fame and leveraging his massive online following to carve out a controversial yet lucrative boxing career. While Jake has secured some victories, his flashy persona and choice of opponents have often alienated traditional boxing fans, creating a palpable tension between him and established figures like De La Hoya. The animosity between De La Hoya and Paul has been brewing for some time, but it erupted dramatically just before Jake's significant fight. Oscar, clearly fed up with Jake's antics, delivered a scathing verbal smackdown that reverberated throughout the boxing world. This was not just a minor dispute, it was a full-blown confrontation that left fans and analysts in a frenzy. With Jake on the brink of one of the most important matches of his career, Oscar's pointed remarks cast a long shadow over his preparations, raising questions about Jake's ability to focus amidst the chaos. The fallout from this unexpected clash has left the boxing community buzzing, as everyone tries to make sense of the implications for both fighters moving forward. The unexpected revelation from Oscar sent shockwaves through social media, igniting a frenzy of reactions from every corner of the boxing community. This situation is particularly intriguing, given Oscar's dual role as both a former champion and a current promoter. He is not merely a retired athlete, he is actively involved in shaping the future of boxing through the fighters he supports. Oscar has always prioritized the development of young talent and the preservation of the sport's integrity. Therefore, when he expresses strong opinions, it transcends personal grievances and becomes a significant commentary on the overall state of boxing. The anticipated matchup between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul is one that promises to capture global attention, drawing in viewers from all walks of life. This fight is poised to generate extensive media coverage and bring new fans to the sport. However, Oscar's stance remains clear. If Jake Paul is genuinely serious about boxing, he should be challenging younger, top-ranked fighters rather than seeking out more favorable matchups. Jake represents a new era in boxing that blends athleticism with entertainment, attracting massive audiences. Yet, his approach often raises eyebrows, as he tends to provoke controversy by choosing less competitive opponents and engaging in provocative social media behavior. Oscar's critique highlights a deeper conflict between traditional boxing values and the more commercial, flashy style that Jake embodies. This isn't merely a clash of personalities, it's a fundamental ideological battle regarding the future of the sport. Oscar's comments resonate with those who feel that Jake's antics could potentially tarnish boxing's reputation, while Jake's supporters argue that he is revitalizing the sport by injecting excitement and drawing in new fans. The dramatic moment unfolded on July 28, 2024, during what was expected to be a routine press conference for one of Oscar's fighters. But it quickly transformed into a fiery denunciation of Jake Paul, leaving everyone present in stunned silence as Oscar unleashed his unfiltered opinions. The controversy surrounding boxer Jake Paul has escalated into targeted attacks on his credibility, 
Oscar De La Hoya, known for his calm demeanor, expressed his concerns about Jake's antics, stating they embarrassed fighters and threatened the essence of boxing. De La Hoya provided concrete examples of Jake's unacceptable behavior, referencing the infamous press conference where Jake referred to Ben Askren as a washed up has been, highlighting the disrespect that Jake's actions bring to the sport. The fallout from Oscar's comments was swift and powerful, igniting a heated debate within the boxing community, which has long been divided over Jake's role in the sport. Prominent figures quickly chimed in, showcasing a wide range of opinions. Legendary trainer Freddie Roach sided with Oscar during an ESPN interview, emphasizing the need to maintain the dignity of boxing. Roach asserted that Jake's antics are merely a distraction, resonating with many traditionalists who feel that his showmanship undermines the sport's authenticity. In contrast, Eddie Hearn, a major promoter, offered a more nuanced perspective in a Sky Sports interview, acknowledging that while he doesn't agree with all of Jake's methods, the attention he brings to boxing, particularly from younger audiences, cannot be overlooked. Boxing fans are increasingly concerned about the influence of boxing promoter Oscar De La Hoya, particularly in relation to rising star Jake Paul. Darren Davis, a prominent boxer, has taken to Twitter to support Oscar's stance, stating that the sport needs genuine fighters rather than YouTubers. This response has garnered over 50,000 likes and retweets, highlighting the growing frustration among traditional boxers who feel their craft is being compromised. The debate surrounding Jake Paul's presence in boxing continues to polarize opinions, with some viewing him as a disruptive force for good and others as a threat to the sport's legacy. Ryan Garcia, one of Oscar's protégés, expressed respect for Oscar, but also acknowledged Jake's role in the boxing world stating that while his presence can be polarizing, it also brings vitality to the sport. Jake Paul made his boxing debut in 2018 against fellow YouTuber Deji Olatunji. His victory by TKO in the fifth round launched his career and set the stage for his strategic approach to selecting opponents. Since then, Jake has been meticulous in curating his boxing matches, often choosing well-known, yet not necessarily seasoned boxers. His second professional bout against YouTuber Anison Gibb in January 2020, followed by his match against Nate Robinson, a former NBA player with no boxing experience, where Jake scored a knockout in the second round. His most recent fight against Mike Perry in July 2024, however, was marred by controversy surrounding the referee's decision to stop the fight. This ongoing narrative raises questions about Jake's legitimacy as a boxer, making the conversation around him complex and compelling. Jake Paul has faced numerous controversies and suspicions of referee bias. His consistent TKO victories have raised eyebrows, as many of his wins come through referee stoppages rather than clear knockouts. Critics argue that these stoppages often seem premature, suggesting referees might be overly cautious or influenced by external factors. Jake's approach paints a picture of a fighter who leverages his celebrity status to create high-profile, lucrative matches, but has its drawbacks. Persistent doubts about the authenticity of his victories and the quality of his opponents hinder his acceptance within the traditional boxing community. The gap in experience and legacy between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson is enormous, with Tyson having fought elite boxers like Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, and Larry Holmes. This disparity has been a hot topic leading up to the fight, with many wondering if Jake stands a chance against a fighter of Tyson's caliber. Tyson's health issues, known for his tumultuous life outside the ring, have been under intense scrutiny. In early May 2024, Reports surfaced that Tyson had suffered a minor stroke, leading to the fight's postponement. Analysts like Max Kellerman argue that the cumulative effects of age and past health problems could severely limit Tyson's performance, making it unlikely for him to compete effectively against a younger, less experienced Jake Paul. Oscar De La Hoya's accusations against Jake Paul have ignited a broader conversation about PEDS in boxing highlighting the importance of maintaining a clean and fair sport. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment in the comment section below.